Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So in front of us, we have the Lexus RCF Blue Fuji Speedway Edition. This is one of 50 that was produced. It's finished off in the electric surge semi matte with all the carbon fiber accents. Fuji Speedway is also a legendary racetrack on the slopes of Mount Fuji in Japan. And it's also where Lexus had their first line of high performance sports cars that were tested. So it's a very cool uh, tribute to that track and for this special edition RCF. These also had a starting MSRP at right around $102,000. So it's a very cool model to be able to check out. Now let's start off underneath the hood where this is powered by the five liter naturally aspirated V8. It's paired to the eight speed automatic transmission and this pumps out 472 horsepower, 395 pound feet of torque. So it's no different than a normal RCF. However, this model weighs 200 pounds less. So it's right around 3,700 pounds, meaning it'll do zero to 60 in under four seconds, being rear wheel drive as well. This has a top speed of 168. And as far as fuel economy goes, you're looking right around 16 miles per gallon in the city and 24 out on the highway. So we have a pretty cool, somewhat fuel efficient, naturally aspirated V8, very fun sports car that you could daily drive. Now, as we work our way to the exterior styling, hopefully you already saw the full carbon fiber hood. Heat extraction vent in the backside, very nice lines that come down both sides, meeting the top of the surround for this hourglass grill, which is finished off in the black chrome. Plenty of cutouts in that grill too, along with the forward facing sensor, which is that Lexus badge. The entire lower splitter is carbon fiber as well. Inlets on both sides, as well as in the middle of the grill there and then LED headlights, DRLs, and turn signals. So it has all the functions that you want for a daily driver, but it gives you the performance that you want for a sports car at the same time. Now for the side, this has a staggered setup for the wheels. They're 19 by nine, 19 by 10, finished off in matte black. We have the carbon ceramics with the red brake calipers too. More carbon fiber in that lower side skirt, triple color design for the power folding side mirrors with the turn signal even carbon fiber for the entire roof. There's a functional trim piece just behind that front tire with the F badge and then really nice indentions and lines running down these side skirts. It gives it a really cool look and this exclusive blue really makes all those lines pop. Now in the rear, we have the massive fixed carbon fiber spoiler. It might be hard to see on camera, but there's a very subtle F logo in the carbon fiber itself which is very neat to see. Backup camera, LED taillights, gloss black and carbon fiber, and then that quad tip dual exhaust with the staggered tips finishes it off in the rear. Now, as a daily driver, there's actually a good amount of storage space where you could place some items. Back seats do not fold down, but there's a little bit of storage underneath the floor if you needed to utilize that. So it's very practical for those aspects. And as we work our way to the interior now, like I mentioned, this is one of 50. We are in number 20 of 50 for this Fuji Speedway edition. There's Alcantara, blue accents everywhere, even blue weaved into the carbon fiber, which is a really cool accent. There's another brush trim just above that, as well as on the door sill. And we can look at these sport bucket seats with the F badge up top, blue, Alcantara, leather, power operated, of course very nice and comfortable seat for this style of vehicle now in order to work your way to the back seats if you do have passengers or extra storage that seat will move out of its way and that gives you access to the two seats in the back a little bit of storage space there's some air vents too at five foot ten i could ride around town i wouldn't go on a long road trip or anything but i could fit back here if i needed to be that third or fourth person so it's usable for adults it's usable for extra storage which is of course great. For a two-door vehicle, you have plenty of room to bring all of your items with you. And the steering wheel is finished off in Alcantara, blue Alcantara in the lower section. We have paddle shifters with blue accents, volume and tuning, all of the Bluetooth controls. We have a, a lane keeping assist, distance pacing, and a few others for that gauge cluster. So let's fire this up so we can go over some of this info where we have the RCF logo. And for the gauge cluster, tack is right in the middle, along with miles per hour, speedometer is on the far right. 
And on the left side, you can go through some more of this information just by using buttons on the right side of the steering wheel. There's some tech that you can go through. We can scroll over to range. You have your TPMS as well, gear position, sway warning, which will tell you when it's time to pull over and take a break. You can change the units. There's also a calm screen setting. There's the lap timer too that you can go through, your G-force meter, and then you also have the compass, your radio, and then your lane keeping assist and cruise control and any messages. So it's nice to have all of that front and center. And then on the left side, blind spot monitoring, parking sensors, there's the auto headlights, and then the rear defroster and trunk release. And then right in the middle, we have the infotainment system where you can use that using all of the controls down below, shortcut to your map and menu. If I go into menu now, there's destination for your nav, audio and phone. You can go into apps and projection as well, and then setup and climates. So it's pretty easy to use this system to go through all of the info, not a whole lot of info. So it's really easy to go through, of course. Now there's a clock underneath that along with air vents. We have all the climate adjustments, temperature dials, fan speed, where you like the air to go. Everything is laid out very well. Power and volume and tuning along with a CD player right in the middle and the rest of those controls. Now we do have a few different driving modes. So by using this dial, I can scroll over and we can go into Sport S or Sport S Plus. There's also Eco and then a normal setting as well, just depending on the throttle response you would like. Traction control, launch control. And then with this in reverse, there's the backup camera. You have a few different angles that you can go through along with being able to control the guidelines as needed. This is finished off in Alcantara 2, and you can shift using both of these. Now there's two cup holders on that right side, more Alcantara for the center armrest with a lot of auxiliaries so you can charge electronics as needed. More blue carbon fiber on the trim for the glove box. And then a look at visibility, even though there's that pillar there, you can see out of that back window. So there's a lot of visibility which is of course great to see. Dome lights up top, of course. But let's go ahead and get this special edition now out on the road. And from second gear, here we go. And I'm short shifting it today, but this has so much more potential than I'm throwing at it. It would be very cool to take this on some back roads, really test this six figure performance from this special edition RCF. That NA V8, you can't go wrong with. Definitely a good sounding vehicle and I love how quickly those paddles respond. So in this Fuji Special Edition, we have a really nice interior. Like I said earlier, it's really cool to see some of the subtle changes over a standard RCF, like all of the blue carbon fiber, all of the blue accents. It's interesting that they picked blue. I'm a huge fan of it, but it's interesting. This is the only color that the 50 came in. But other than the cosmetic changes, they did make some upgrades where this is completely different than a normal RCF. So I really like that aspect to it. Some of these things you could probably do on a normal RCF, but if you just wanna get it as is, we have a beautiful, beautiful spec. But since it's a Lexus, it's going to give you all the refinements of a luxury vehicle, and it gives you that performance. Now, we can test the handling a little bit for this roundabout. Obviously, nothing crazy today, but there's zero body roll going around this turn. And there's going to be plenty of power to get out of the turns as well. So it's a really good handling sports car from Lexus that still has that NA engine available. I also just noticed too, just how far back these side mirrors are. It gives you a lot more visibility in front of them, which is great. Interesting design to see how far back they are, but that gives you that extra space, especially over the passenger side. But it's definitely a cool and practical vehicle. And I think that's gonna wrap it up for this Lexus RCF Blue Fuji Speedway Edition. Huge shout out to 704 Exotics again for providing this for me today. Check out their website, give the video a huge thumbs up, and also consider smashing that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on our daily uploads. And I will see you all in the next video.